What's up guys? Dave Mate Escarapur. Drinking some mate called Mission Natural. Organic mate from Argentina. Salud. Que rico. Very delicious. Just want to make a quick video about the three regional types of sherba mate. Now, as those of you who are familiar with mate, we know that mate is mostly drunk in three countries in South America. Those countries being Argentina, Brazil, and Uruguay. And excuse me, how could I forget, Paraguay, four major countries in South America. And more or less, each one of those countries has their own mate philosophy, which could be seen in the way that the mate is produced, the way that the mate is dried, and the way that the mate is cut before it's packaged and shipped to market. This is what I call the three regional cuts of mate. The cut, what is the cut of mate? The cut is basically the composition, the makeup, uh, the amalgamation of the sherba, uh, the sherba including the palos, which are twigs, the polvo, which is the powder, and the, the hojas, which are the leaves. The three of those combined make up the composition or the cut of the actual mate. So let's start with Argentina because Argentina pretty much has the market in mate right now in South America. Uh, yes, maybe Brazil grows more mate than Argentina, but when we think of mate, we sort of think of Argentina. That's where they really uh, push it hard. But then again, we have the fanatics. The fanatics of mate are in Uruguay. Those are the guys who are drinking mate 24-7, sort of like me. The Argentinians, uh, a little less, I would say. The Argentinians drink about, I don't know, per capita, four liters of mate. Uh, yearly, and per capita in Uruguay, it's about 10 liters of mate. So you can see there's a big difference, there's a difference in concentration of the amount of drinkers in Uruguay. But let me not uh, let me not go into that. Let's stay focused here. So the main regional cut that we're going to start off with right now is Argentinian cut. The Argentinian cut is uh, comprised of uh, broad cut leaves. It usually contains palos in it. Palos, remember, are the twigs. Some of them contain what I call monster palos, very large palos. And it contains a relatively low polvo count, a very low, relatively low amount of dust in the mate. And uh, that can be seen in brands such as Nobleza Gaucha, uh, Cruz del Malta, del, <laughs> Cruz, del, <laughs> Cruz de Malta, uh, Taragui, Rosamante, Kraus Organica, uh, Union, La Merced, brands like this, you can see the true Argentinian traditional cut. Broad leaves, uh, broadly cut leaves, medium sized leaves as well, good amount of palos, and relatively low amount of polvo, relatively low amount of, of powder. The mate is usually uh, sort of smooth to medium body. Uh, you know, it's a very traditional tasting mate. It's good. It's pure Argentina. I love you, Argentina. Salud. And that's the cut that I pretty much uh, grew into this mate world with, the Argentinian cut, which I still love. I'm drinking it right now with a mate called Mission, Mission Natural. Uh, now let's move forward to the what I'll call the the gaucho cut. Now the gaucho cut isn't necessarily tied to any specific country, but where we see it drunk mostly is in Uruguay and, and Brazil, not so much in Argentina. A gaucho cut uh, 
has a lot of pulvo, a lot of powder, and has a lot of pulverized palos and uh, twigs. And a lot of pulverized palos and twigs. Um, it's a very sort of dusty, strong, robust mate. I guess it will be equivalent to what we call cowboy coffee here in the United States. Very strong, robust, and it has a very high uh, polvo count. With gaucho matas, you're never going to see whole palos. Never, never, never. You'll never see them. It's just, that's not what a gaucho mate is. The gaucho mate is strictly polvo and strictly leaves, pulverized leaves and pulverized uh, twigs. Some brands that are traditional gaucho sherbas, Del Salvador, Canarias, Canarias Especial, uh, Kraus Gaucho, Sara, Boldo. What else? Those are the main ones. Canadius really is the super gaucho uh, in terms of spreading that sort of philosophy of uh, powdery mate. Uh, Canadius is at the top, I would say, right now. Uh, that's why Uruguayans swear by Canadius. They love it. They drink it like it's gold. I love it too. That's one of my favorite mates. So, just to recap, gaucho is a very dusty mate without the twigs. And it's drunk... Uh, a little differently in terms of using different bombisha sometimes or how you actually manipulate the bombisha inside the gourd. I'm not going to go too much into that today, but uh, I think you get the idea of what a gaucho mate is. A gaucho is the, means cowboy. Cowboy South America. That roamed the Pampas region, which spanned across uh, Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil. And I believe Uruguay as well. So, for the third regional cut, we're going to go to Paraguay. It's called a, what I call a Paraguayan cut. Now, keep in mind, some people will define this differently, but the way that I'm defining a Paraguayan cut, uh, it's sort of a very unique hybrid, this sort of cut. It's, in, it's unique in that it has palos, whole palos in it sometimes. It has chopped up palos as well. It also has pulverized uh, twigs, pulverized leaves, and also has a high amount of, of polvo, of powder. So we see the best of all the worlds of mate and all the cuts of mate with the Pataguashan cut. The Pataguashan cut, it has the pulverized leaves, it has the pulverized palos, it has a good amount of, uh, of powder in it, but the unique thing is that it also has palos in it as well. So it's sort of a hybrid in between the Argentinian cut and the Gaucho cut. Now we have the Paraguayan cut. Some brands that you can see this in are uh, Pajarito, which is probably, arguably, the most well-known, respected brand in Paraguay. We could also see this in a relatively new brand that came out recently called Palo Alto. Delicious sherba aged up to three years in, in uh, Paraguay. And you could also see what other brands uh, that I haven't delved too deeply into in other Pataguashan brands, but I think you could probably see it in Selecta as well. So, just to recap, the Pataguashan cut is a, is a hybrid between the uh, Argentinian and the Gaucho. It contains pulverized uh, palos and it has a high amount of polvo, but the unique thing is that it also has whole palos in it and medium-sized ojas, medium-sized leaves, so it's a hybrid. Very tasty, very delicious as well. Uh, and then, dare I include this, but I think that I have to, there's something that I'm going to call a super gaucho cut. And this is equivalent to Japanese matcha, in that it's super, super dusty, super, super powdery, and it's just pure powder, and then you'll also see some whole palos in it, but it's, other than that, it's pure, pure dust. Uh, one company that I know of that creates this is called Meta Mate. They're based out in Europe, but their United States face to the company is called the Project Mate Bar. They're located in Miami, Florida. Uh, Daniele and Jonathan, <coughs> my friends over there in, in Miami, are representing, holding it down. Salute to you guys. 
and I'm still playing around with this mate. I'm still trying to learn about it. But uh, let's just say that it's super, super, super powdery, and it has a good taste profile, and it's a little, for me right now, it's a little cumbersome to drink because uh, I have to learn how to best use my bombisha and best situate it because it's just super powdery. Some people actually add another little filter at the end of it, a little, uh, what's equivalent to like a cheesecloth filter at the end. So those are the three regional cuts of sherba mate, uh, excluding the super gaucho, which is something that I kind of had to make up because there was no real name for it. It's a gaucho mate, but it's super gaucho. Uh, Argentinian, Paraguayan, and gaucho. And then we have the super gaucho. This is Dave Mate. Uh, check out my website, circleofdrink.com. Salute. Drink some mate.